A 29-year-old stewardess fell to her death tonight when she was swept through an emergency door that suddenly sprang open. Her body was found three hours after the accident. into another heavy, silver, unbreathable, slowing, saving element. Thank you. 
fashionably swirling, the air beast crooning to her, scaled roaming silver, a dream of being drawn, the glitter of water catches the moon by its one shaken side. Correct young woman must take up her body and fly.
she fell into water, she might live like a diver, the glitter of water. There is water. There they are. There are the waters of life, the moon packed and coiled in a reservoir. There is time to perfect all the fine points of diving. Feet together, toes pointed, hands shaped right to insert her into water like a needle. To come out healthily dripping and be handed a Coca-Cola. Hold, hold out for water. Who knows when what correct young woman must take up her body and fly. If she fell into water, she might live like a diver. If she fell into water, she might live like a diver. Perfect plunge into another heavy, silver, unbreathable, slowing, saving element. now take off her hat in summer air the contour of cornfields and have enough time to kick off her one remaining shoe with the toes of the other foot to unhook her stockings with calm fingers noting how fatally easy it is to undress in midair she sheds the jacket with its silver sad impotent wing sheds the bat guiding tailpiece of her skirt the lightning-charged clinking of her blouse, the intimate inner flying garment of a slip in which she rides like the holy ghost of a virgin, sheds the long wind socks of her stockings, absurd brassiere, then feels the girdle required by regulations squirming off her. She feels the girdle flutter, shake in her hand and float upward, upward, warbling, Dancing, sleeping, slant, slide off tumbling, her clothes rising off her ascending into cloud, her hair shot loose from all pins, streaming in the wind of her body, who knows when what correct young woman must take up her body and fly. Who knows when what correct young woman must take up her body and fly. Nine farms hover close, widen. Eight of them separate, leaving one in the middle. Then the fields of that farm do the same.
no female signs of the moon. The last slow, careful passing of her hands all over her unharmed body, desired by every sleeper in his dream. upon earth. The clouds have drunk it back. The plants have sucked it down. There are standing toward her only the common fields of death. She comes back from flying to falling, returns to a powerful cry, the silent scream with which she blew down the coupled door of the airliner, nearly, nearly losing hold of what she has done, remembers, remembers the shape of the heart of clouds, passionately swirling, the greatest thing that ever came to Kansas. Screaming without enough air, still neat, lipstick, stocking, girdled by regulation, her hat still on. The greatest thing that ever came in the world, and yet spaced also strangely with autoplastic rightness on thin air.
interrupted her maiden flight, told her how to lie. Lies in the fields, as though on a cloud she cannot drop through. Down from all heights, all levels of American breath, layered in the lungs, from the frail chill of space to the loam where extinction slumbers in corn tassels, thickly. Feels herself go, go toward, go outward, breathes at last fully, not, and tries, less, once, tries to slow. The greatest thing that ever came to Kansas. While farmers sleepwalk without their women from houses, a walk like falling toward the far waters of life in moonlight, toward the dreamed eternal meaning of their farms, toward the flowering of the harvest in their hands. Perfect, that tragic Plunge pulse. into another heavy, silver, unbreathable, slowing, saving element. 